everyone. I'm here today to describe SurePlate products. We have a solution to lost license plates on most dot land assemblies. We're here today in sunny Florida and we are going to describe to you three products that we have available on Amazon and our website on SurePlateForYou.com. We're going to go through uh, SurePlate mounting. We have uh, SurePlate Economy Max and we have SurePlate Deluxe Max. We're going to show you the two different products and um, we go through a disassembly and assembly procedure. So we're going to start off here quickly by removing the nuts. On our standard dot lamp assembly, product we, rec we recommend replacing these plastic units don't work over time if you're somebody who trails a lot these will eventually fail if you just have your trailer sitting in a lot and you don't trail a lot with it then it's not necessary but uh, our experiences traveling with our jet ski all over the state and multiple states that um, after time these fail they tend to de de degrade over time because they're not UV protected and because they're plastic, they don't they don't do well in cold weather. So we're going to replace this with our product, SurePlate. You can see here plastic insert with nuts that have rectangular um, shapes on them, and they cam on the on the surface on the inside here. You have to be careful not to overstress these. When you use the lock nuts, these tend to to spin. That's why we use the double nuts. So here's our SurePlate Deluxe. Deluxe Max frame. This includes a license plate frame and includes a, includes a full featured or full surfaced SurePlate rubber license plate holder. This allows you to protect all four corners of your license plate. So basically uh, this has already been opened but you just take your scissor and you cut across here. Cut on the other side. Take your SurePlate product. Grab the paper take it out and then you'll see instructions on the back side and within this instruction panel you have fasteners these are for mounting your license plate on the shore plate product and these will be used for mounting onto the trailer the product includes a license plate holder and a plastic license plate frame it allows you to protect your license plate around all four corners just remove the temporary ties and proceed to mount your license plate holder so you have the option of mounting on the outside or mounting in between we do recommend mounting in between, but as stated in other videos, it's important to know the distance between your studs and the bottom edge of your mounting bracket. In this particular case, you've got plenty of flexibility. It would work well mounting it between your frame and your license plate light. So in this particular case, you have the option of using the large washers or the small washers that originally came with your trailer. In this particular case, it doesn't really matter. So we use the smaller washers. Put the original nuts on. Now the reason why I use two nuts as stated earlier in other videos is that you don't want to over tighten the plastic cam that holds the bolt. If you over tighten it you can strip it and then it's hard to mount, fasten it. So we recommend just lightly tightening these. Don't over tighten. It 
make sure that your lamp is parallel to the ground before proceeding to tighten the shong. Then take your lock nuts, tighten over the top. Use an open end wrench to hold your first nut. Socket head, use your 7 16 and then you can hold the first nut with your open end and tighten with your socket head. And you can tighten those against each other with good firm torque. Use the uh, fasteners for the license plate. Be careful uh, about the staples so you don't cut yourself. There's enough fasteners and washers and nuts here to mount all four sides of your plate. on the front side, pass it through, put another washer on the back side, use your lock nut and just hand tighten it until it hits the nylon insert and then do that again on the remaining holes, again a washer, bolt, socket head. These are Phillips drive screws. Because they're nylon inserts you don't have to go crazy over tightening. Give them a good firm tighten. Don't over tighten. If you over tighten you could damage the plastic frame and you, and you want to make sure that you don't put too much tension on the rubber. have the finished product so you have a nice stiffness enough to keep it while well, driving your vehicle to keep your license plate presented and at the same time enough flexibility when you go in and out of the water that you don't put excessive stress on the as it would be on a rigid plastic holder your the rubber material has good UV resistance it's good to very cold temperatures and it's corrosion proof and this is our solution to your lost license plate problem, SurePlay products. So uh, we um, want to show you another alternate method for fastening your SurePlate to your trailer. We already have our license plate mounted, as described in the previous video. And instead of mounting it between your bracket and your lamp, you can mount it just on the outside surface it like such. In this particular configuration it is important that you utilize the large diameter washers and place them over the surface of the rubber 
then put your, your nuts on. As stated in earlier videos, whether you use one or two nuts is all a matter of the structure inside the lamp. Because it's a plastic cam on the inside, the plastic structure cannot withstand the torque required for the nylon nuts. So we proceed to go ahead and tighten these nuts without the nylon inserts and we don't over tighten them so we don't strip the plastic on the inside. So give them a good torque, do not over stress or you'll strip the bolt with a nut pattern on it on the plastic. So it's a good nice snug fit Then you can proceed to put your nylon nut on. Now make sure it doesn't come all loose. And here's where you want to use a combination of open end wrench, 716, 7C16 socket. You hold one first nut with the open end and you proceed to tighten with the socket. And you hear you get this good torque. You got two stainless steel parts. Here's your alternate method for mounting shirt plate. Super tough. 